Good morning. It's a little sh Someone changed the screensaver. Don't know why I changed it to that, but just will change it to that. I think someone's taking the mic. No of that. So it's changed the background. <laughs> it's a picture of Ned Kelly. <laughs> okay. You know how you little shit. Right, so um time is six six oh three five, something like that. So I got a text, you get a text off work. Where's my phone? Right, and it just, basically they've copied and pasted like a lot of stuff from the computer green screen, copied it over to the WhatsApp or the text or whatever, I don't know, however they do it. And you just get a load of stuff like that. So I've translated it down, removed all the crap, but, um, it's, it's a bit confusing when they do it like that, I must admit. Yeah, I get the information is there, but then they have to filter out so much crap. Because um, it reads, 020 take ITOL from Maxi Warrington, 030 go to witness RSU WA80 NY for delivery ASAP, 040 ah, blah blah blah, loads of numbers, one for load, 2430 WAS, 02, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'm sure it does on their computer, but on my phone it just looks what the f what the hell is that? So anyway, I've got it down to picking up from Warrington, taking it to Widnes, reload from Birchwood, take that to Birkenhead Port, run solo over to Liverpool Docks Overflow Yard, reload at Birchwood, and then take that to Hollyhead Docks. That's today's run out of. All that garbage that they sent. Back at the yard. I'm not sure how much filming I should do today. Because uh, it looks a bit boring on the paperwork. I'm, yeah, I'm guessing the yard's full then. What are these trailer numbers here? I can't see it. Uh, 968 I want, I think it's 968, is it 962, 982, I can't remember, better look at the text, don't I? <laughs> uh, trailer I want is 982, I, I, I don't think it's on any, any of the ones behind it, oh it's there, 982, it's right there, happy days. <laughs> I didn't even look, I didn't see that then. <laughs> Looking right at it, I didn't see it. I don't know I'm going to wind the legs up because... Stop going down! Stop going down! Literally got my hand on the up button. I don't even know I'm going to get down here. I don't know I'm going to do it. <laughs> Well, I need to put me, I need to put that on first. Could be worse. I could have a blowout. Baggy, one of our other drivers, got a blowout this morning in Huntingdon.
So the way we do with this is pretty easy. The legs are off the floor. Yeah, legs off the floor. I'll show you. Uh, so we press this one and then this one. to move the trailer and truck forward slowly just you know I just want to get enough just so I can get the legs so I can get to the winding handle probably about right there right now we're going to hook up as normal found out what they were why it is in the back it's uh so it's plastic things that I had a failed delivery on the other week and then I had to go back in the morning and try and re-deliver it but this one it's going to it's going to uh witness so postcode should be on here right I found it uh I can't remember who runs it it's XPO I think it was G GXO in the one in a different area. It's probably the same company anyway, isn't it really? So I found it, yeah, just it's just at the side of the old Runcorn Bridge. Um, you will arrive at your port destination at 7.03 a.m. 7.03? Right, okay. So today is just gonna be a lot of stops and starts actually might be a better day for a video instead of a longer one uh, the trailer is 15 foot 3 my height marker says 15 foot 4 my, so my sat nav is set for 15 foot 4 so don't need to change it no point however if it was the other way round if the trailer was taller than the other one then I'd have to change it obviously So the park, turn my right unit at the, the end the there. Road. Then, at the end of the road, turn left.
better on the actual bump stops this time. Do I need to raise the trailer or lower it? I'm gonna raise it a little bit with this handle. I'll do, I think. Keys, put the keys somewhere now. No entry, please use the door at the top of ramp. Side of bay 23. What? It says there's a button to press. I don't see, I can see a green light. Is it buttons here? No buttons there, it's a red light. Ah, there's the keys. There's a hook for the keys. Where's, where's the button? Ow. Am I missing something here? Is that the hook for the keys? I don't know. Not been here a while. Let's go back here and find someone. Can't see nothing now, green. That's do us done on this one. Let's level the cab off, level off the trailer, because I adjusted the trail height. 7 degrees. It's, it's lovely and warm. Right, next job is Birchwood. I'm picking up some crips. Uh, time is 8.33, so it's an hour and a half. No labels on the buttons. Door is open. Oh there you go, just let me out, happy days. Yes, boss. Will do. Turn left. Oh, eight quid. That's got up, hasn't it? Eight pound. Turn left. Ridiculous. Right, drop this on uh, 15 and pick up my trailer from 16. So, 11, 12, 13, well, there you go, 941 I want. Cold. So this trailer is a bit taller. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot the trailer number. I need, I need that. So to change the height on this trailer height marker to 
15 foot 5, 4.72222. Feet. Uh, uh, trailer number, what was it? I forgot. All 941. It's all 941. What time is it now? Let's give the office a quick call because they'll need to uh, update. Come on, let us out. Beat your own mate, otherwise they're not going to know you're there are they? <laughs> Sat that thinks I'm still going to the same place, she's going to tell me to turn around. <laughs> Bicky dead! <sighs> Drop number. I don't know what is it. Drop two. No. What? I don't even know what I've done this morning. <laughs> Not in, that's how interested I am. <laughs> After 100 yards, get right on the roundabout and take the third exit. So, drop then one here, solo, out of here. It is on your right. Cross the water. Get right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Then, you have reached your destination. It is on your right. Pick one up from the other end. So apparently that trailer has already been picked up two days ago. Right, there's, there's no empties here. I'm just going to finish my little break off. Not for the entire duration. Listening intent. I'm going to finish my little break off and then I'm going to uh, head back to the yard, find an empty trailer, then carry on doing what I was going to do. Um, so yeah, my time's been a little bit extended today. Not by much though. So that's what we're going to do. There's a guy here taking uh, truck pictures. So. Um, He's just got my, my truck picture then, so I'll, I'll have a look online for that. Uh, the, uh, Liverpool Port docks, so I'll have a look for that in a day or two, see if I can find it. Don't know who it is though. There he is. Alright, yeah, hopefully there's an empty trailer and it's not buried. I'm hoping it, this one here at the front will do. <laughs> 9052, I'll, I'll have that one please. It looks that's dropped, that's been dropped low. It's a bit full in here. there for now. I've just got some ad blue because I don't think the pump works very well at our yard. Then I was going to go and do the collection. 
sent a call saying that <laughs> you purposely just drove over that hole. <laughs> I love it when cars get come round there by accident. They'll, you can see them panicking, like they don't know where to stay. Yeah, well done, winner. Um, yeah, I just got a call saying come back to the office because uh, the goods aren't ready. Oh, they haven't done the, uh, the customs de declaration. So, Maxi normally offer that service, but some companies prefer to do it themselves. So they, they opted to do it themselves, and uh, something's gone wrong. Should have got Maxi to do it. Change of plan. So this radio is going to go loud again. Change of plan is uh, dropping this trail off in the yard and um, going solo or bobtail to uh, Hollyhead Port for a delivery at 9 a.m. tomorrow. I'll probably get. I'll probably get delivered today, if I'm honest. <laughs> if they'll accept it today, I'll deliver it today. So I've got to put this back where we got it. Where did they get it from? I reckon that gap there. I apologise. I apologise if my arm gets in the way. You can see further than I can see there because I'm not leaning out the window yet. got a trail on my left I've got to watch out for and I've also got to make sure I don't hit the trail on the other side it's quite a big gap this though so it's not too bad as soon as that middle wheel comes round that corner of the uh, trailer there on the left then that's my pivot point done The problem is with this sometimes, you don't know the angle of that trailer because you can't see where it's pointing. Now, you could physically get two trailers in here but there'd be no room to actually uh, hook it up or anything. Plus it's a pivot point where it's like, it's not, it's not square behind these trailers. So I'm going to put this in exactly where I got it from actually. Come back a bit further, so if anyone wants to get this out it's a little bit easier. Remember to give yourself enough room so I can uh, Take the number plate at the back. That is me. That is, that is me packed. <coughs> that is me packed up. I'm just outside the port. I'm going to go and pick the trail up in the morning. Um, two reasons. First reason is if I pick up in the morning, well, I can I can have an early night tonight and chill out and sort myself out and you know whatever. That sounded wrong, didn't it? <laughs> Not like that. Um, I could chill out watch TV, have an early night. Uh, tomorrow, I've got to, I'm gonna pick the trail up in the morning, go for an early start about 4.30, get to the yard, uh, get to the port, which is about 10 minutes away. Um, give yourself half an hour to pick up the trailer, head back to where I'm delivering it to, which is just next to Chester Services. I'm gonna drop the trailer off at the delivery point but well, there's a giant car park, so I'll drop the trailer off there. I'm going to come, go back to Chester Services, pick up a driver who's run out of time, or will have run out of time by the morning, take him back to the yard so he can go home, pick up another driver from the yard, drop him off at Chester Services so he can pick up this truck. Then I can go next door, pick up my truck, do the delivery, and then carry on the rest of the day. So well, I don't mind doing that um, because you get paid more on a Sunday. So. Um, Ka-ching! 
<laughs> and I know my I know my boss has watched this, so um, it's what it is. You need a driver, bring him back. Just saying. <laughs> right. How's my floor looking? A little bit dusty. This one's not. I've been sweeping this one all day. Give this one a sweep. I'm gonna give it a good dust down in here. I've got my little uh, dust mover. So he moves it off the dashboard, let it settle and that, get out of all the crap, cracks on the buttons, get out of the vents, all the awkward places that you can't really reach. Let that settle onto the floor, then sweep it out. Most of it will come back on the dashboard, but rinse and repeat is what it, it's the way it is, you know, the same. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.